Welcome back. In this video, we'll see how many times the university has been repeated using the county function, and also we will use the pivot table function to see how many times the university is repeated. So I have the list of university in this data set, which is the table here, and I have some other criteria like first name, last name, job title, and even employee ID. I wanted to see how many times the university has been repeated in the column B. To check how many times the university has been repeated, I can use the function which is called as count if. So I will use the function count if. Then I will open the bracket. Select. I need to select the range. So I need to select the entire range here. So you can see here after count if you need to select the range of cells and the criteria. So I have selected the range which is A to F, which is A to F, and I will use the comma here. In the double quote, I will mention the criteria. The criteria will be I wanted to check how many times Drexel University has been repeated. So I will use in the double quote Drexel University. Close the double quote and close the bracket. I got the result as 12. So this is my result. So 12 times Drexel University has been repeated in column B. If I wanted to use the pivot table to do the same function, I have to select the range or I can just click on anywhere in this data set, select the menu insert, go to the pivot table here, under insert, go to the pivot table, click on the pivot table and from table or range, I will select the entire range here from A. To F. I wanted to use the pivot table in the new worksheet. I will click on OK. Since I wanted to find the university count, I will select the university in the rows and also I will select the university in the values to get the counts for each of the university. So we have been checking for Drexel University. I will filter for Drexel and see how many times the Drexel University is repeated. So we got the same result which we did in the countif function. So this is the function which we used countif. We got the same result as 12. And the pivot table which has been used in the new sheet that is also giving the same result as 12. In case if I don't want to find the count for the university, I will remove the field here. I will also remove the field here. I just wanted to get the job title. If I wanted to see the job title count, how many times the job title has been repeated, I will do the same thing. Use the job title in rows and use the job title in columns. So, accountant is 15 times repeated. Can I check the same thing using the count function? I will use the count function again. Count if. And I need to select the range. I will select the range. From this range, I need to open the bracket. Then I need to select the range. From this range, in the double quote, let us say I wanted to find dentist and close the bracket. So, 31 times job title dentist has been repeated. If I go to the pivot table and if I filter for dentist. 
it should also give 31 times. So we got the result as 31 year and also we got the result as 31 year. So this way we will be able to use the count if function and also the pivot table to check the count of any given criteria in this Excel data sheet. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care.